Yo, what's up guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fully optimize your business for this new season. So we will be going through tweaks, Fortnite settings, Windows settings, and much more. So make sure to watch to the end. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going to go through Fortnite settings. Let's go here and click on settings. So now for this display, we have three options. You got Windows full screen, full screen, and Windows. I recommend having this on Windows full screen if you do a lot of old tabbing or multitasking. If you don't, then just set to full screen as it does give you the lowest amount of input delay. Now for resolution, I recommend having this to your default native resolution, which should be right here. But for my case, it's 920 by 1080, but you can set it to a lower resolution, which makes your game look less clear and but does give you more FPS. So it's highly up to you what you want. So for VSync, I recommend having this on off as it does give you the less amount of input delay. Now for primary limit, I recommend, I recommend capping this to your monitor refresh rate as it makes your game feel the smoothest. Or if you want, you can set it to a limited. Now, for rendering mode, I recommend having this on legacy performance, especially on NVIDIA graphics card. If you don't, then for performance, I recommend this for AMD graphics card, so it's highly up to you how your GPU performs and under each setting. For graphics, these are colorblind settings, so if you're actually colorblind, this will help you out. If you're not, you can change how your game looks, so it's highly up to you. Now, for graphics quality, this is basically the quality of your game. So, we're gonna start with 3D resolution. So what this basically does, the lower the value, the less clear your game looks. So I recommend having this 100%, but if you do have some extra, yes, I recommend setting it to 75%. Now for dynamic 3D resolution, just keep it off. And then view distance, I recommend most case scenarios just have it on fire, as it doesn't really have an impact in your FPS. And it also allows you to see more objects or buildings or weapons. So textures, I recommend having it on low and messages I recommend having it on low as it does have an impact on your FPS, which is why I recommend having it on low and it doesn't really have an impact in your game. So now advanced graphics, I recommend having show FPS off or on, highly depends. I recommend having it off as it doesn't distract you in game. So latency markers are basically debugging settings so you can debug your latency, which is, it doesn't really matter, so just set it off. So now for NVIDIA reference low latency, you have three options you got off on and on plus views so what basically off does it basically allows more frames to be queued which does increase input delay now on basically cuts on the frames queued which reduces input delay and on plus two basically prevents your gpu from down clocking so on high-end pcs i recommend on plus views i also recommend this on medium pcs as on doesn't really have an impact on your fps or anything but it's highly up to you in most case scenario we have a very very low end pc i do have a lot of success i recommend having this on off all right so what i want you to do now is go to your windows and select embed a control panel it should be this one right here now I'll just give it a second to load and once it loads go to adjust image settings preview now select use my preference emphasizing select that and then slide this all the way to the left into this performance right here and then click apply now once you do that go to manage 3d settings and follow what i do so gamma correction should be set to off and scroll down until you find low latency mode, set that to on, scroll a little bit more down until you see GDI compatibility, set it to prefer performance, then open GL render GPU, select your graphics card right here. Now power management mode, select to uh, maximum performance, then look for this option right here, set it to off, scroll a little bit more down until you see texture filter and quality now set it to high performance and also set negative LOD bias to um, and once you do that just click on apply and then you should be good to go so now go to configure surround face and then what I want you to do now is select your graphic card once again and then it should look just like this and then just click apply just give it a second to load and it should be done then you can close it and then we move on to the next week configure is the background apps that run in the background when you boot up your pc so to check that just right click on this and open up task manager once you do that go to startup apps and then follow what i do so for this section what you basically want to do is just disable anything that is enabled or anything that you don't want to be running in the background as soon as you start your pc so for example epic games microsoft teams microsoft to do own link disabled Microsoft Edge to be disabled or 
this code to be disabled that's means when your pc boots up it doesn't automatically open this apps and then yeah you can close it all right so we can move to the next week so the next thing we'll do is configure your number process so hold windows plus r which should open run and then type ms config just like this and press ok once you do that just open up boot advanced options and the number of processes now set it to the maximum you have since i have 12 i set it to 12 and then after that just press ok apply ok and then exit with restart so we can do the next week you want to improve your overall pc performance and reduce your ping and input delay head out to externaltools.com so we provide a free tuning utility that can basically use your pc performance for completely free it has many many options like general which has windows latency keyboard and mouse power network we also got hardware which has cpu gpu and hardware related settings we also got game boosters bios which is currently only for pro users we also got d bloat so to deploy your pc and so fixes have any troubles so then yeah so make sure to check it out okay so for the next week you're gonna have to join our discord server which is attached in the description or in the comments as well and then once you're in the discord server go to a free tweet channel right here and you're gonna see this power plan zipped to do that just press continue to download Load just like this you can minimize everything else and I go to downloads and drag it to your desktop just like this now once you do that just right click and press extract hold then extract so what's this gonna be able to do is basically it's gonna import a power plan our custom made power plan so to, to do that just run this double click this and click yes that's okay and once you do that just double click on the power plan and then it should be added to your power plan so to check that just go to edit the power plan should look just like this now click on open and then power options and then you should see another power plan once you just select it and then you can close and then yeah and then now we move to the next week okay so now what you want to do you just go to settings okay so now what you want to do go to notifications and now make sure notifications is disabled and then the next week is go to storage now make sure storage sense is enabled so basically you automatically free up space and then now click on temporary files now click on remove files and then continue so what this will do is basically you're going to remove all the unnecessary files that you don't need in your system now once you're done go to personalization and then colors and then once you do that just make sure disparity effects is turned off then go to onto gaming game bar and now what you want to do is make sure game bar is disabled unless you actually use it keep it enabled and then now go to game mode and then make sure game mode is enabled then go to graphics once you go into graphics make sure optimizations for windows game is enabled especially if you play on windows full screen and then advanced graphics settings make sure it's enabled as well now if you want to you can also do custom settings for applications just go here and then select high performance and select your graphics card and then make sure optimize for windows game is also enabled now after this go to accessibilities visual effects and make sure all these three effects is disabled then now go to display and select your native resolution or any custom resolution you might use now go to advanced display okay so once you're here just select your highest refresh rate possible and then after you do that now go to bluetooth and devices then scroll all the way down until you see mouse then go to additional mouse settings and then go to pointers i mean pointers options now make sure enhanced pointer precision is disabled because when it's enabled it basically enables mass acceleration and when you have it disabled it enables one-to-one -one pixel movement so now it's okay and make sure it's disabled and then yeah you're pretty much good to go but then now we move on to the next week okay now for the next week i recommend just go to windows and search adjust it should be the one that says adjust the appearance click on open then now what i recommend you to do is just click on adjust for best performance and then click apply it might take a while and just wait for it to load but once it's done just press ok and then go to your search bar and search um clear type should be this one right here i just clear type and then just make sure you turn it on click on next 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 and then just click finish and then you're done all right thank you guys that's gonna be it for the video if it didn't help you out, just make sure you drop a like and subscribe and comment and then see you in the next one.